Hey guys, Sasha from Mobile Geeks here. We are in New York at the launch event of the brand new LG G2 flagship phone from South Korea. Well, I think actually one of the most leaked phones uh, that we've seen recently. What I would like to show you is of course, you know, um, what are the basic features and what is so unique about this phone. Well, first of all, it comes with a 5.2 inch 1080p uh, IPS display and it's a kind of Hold on, let me just switch it on. And by the way, you've been wondering how I'm going to switch it on because there are no buttons here on the side or on the front. Look at this. I have this power button here on the back and volume control. So it's just so easy to handle it. And as you can also see, it's a side-to-side -side display. So super thin bezel all around this. Um, the SOC is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 clocked at 2.26 GHz, a quad-core processor based on the quiet architecture. It comes with the Arduino 330 GPU. So this is one of the fastest SOCs that's out there. It has two gigabytes of RAM and their version with 16 or 32, uh, 32 gigabyte internal storage. What I also would like to show you is, once again, um, this looks pretty much like what we saw on the Nexus 4. So we have no physical buttons here and you're getting these typical Android buttons on the front. It comes with a 2.1 megapixel camera on the front and there's a 13 megapixel camera on the back. Well, there's one very unique feature about this uh, megapixel, uh, 13 megapixel camera on the back. It comes with an optical image stabilizer and there they've been putting optical image stabilizer only in smartphones with 4 megapixel and 8 megapixels. The very first one that comes with a 13 megapixel uh, camera. But we also have to keep in mind that Nokia already <laughs> launched the 41 megapixel in the Lumia 1020 with an optical image stabilizer. But still, um, you should expect some really, really cool pictures um, with the device. Let me try to, you saw that, I'm just doing a double tap on the screen it's immediately switching on. So it's a very, very unique feature. What's also very interesting is, let me just switch it off again and let's switch it on. And when I'm just drawing a G, in here oh okay it seems like I'm not really getting it because it has this unique guest mode <laughs> that's unfortunately not really working right now so what's the guest mode doing it's kind of protecting your privacy so people won't have any access to your phone book if you just want to show your phone around and you want to show off with this amazing phone um, you can just enter the guest mode but I think I have to train this a little bit um, what else is here what I can tell you about it's 8.9 millimeters thin um, in terms of the weight, I would guess roughly around 140 grams. LG wasn't releasing any specs. And last but not least, and I think that's very important, it comes with a 3000 milliampere hour battery. So this definitely, in combination with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 800, gives you all day battery life at least. Well, I would guess it's pretty much on the same level as my Samsung Galaxy Note. In terms of the build quality, what I like about the back, um, you can still see this very specific pattern here um, that LG was already using on the Optimus G Pro or for example on the Nexus 4. Uh, in general, I think it's an absolutely gorgeous phone and let me just give you one last idea. If you come Comparing it a little bit to the Nexus 4, you see they are very, very similar in terms of the design. So that's a quick and dirty hands-on of the new LG G2, which is, by the way, running on Android Jelly Bean 4.2.2. Should be available in the next four to eight weeks, almost globally, and starting roughly around five to six hundred US dollar. So that's the new LG G2. I'm Sasha from Mobile Geeks. Thanks for watching. Yeah.